This portion of today is sponsored by Walmart Plus, the mother of all savings memberships. Join today. Well, we are grilling up a special meal for Mother's Day weekend. Chef Matt Moore is here with two easy recipes to impress your cookout crowd. Matt's latest cookbook, it's called Butcher on the Block. It highlights recipes and stories of butchers around the world. And good morning, Matt. You good can't morning. have a morning, morning, cookbook and not bring in some meat. So. I, couldn't, I couldn't put a, a cookbook out without coming back here. So thank I you guys it. so much Absolutely. for having me back. Yeah, thank um, you. This was a great opportunity. My last two books were focused on barbecue and grilling. Mm -hmm. So I sought a way to combine the two subjects. Perfect. But also kind of start at the beginning at the local butcher shop and then also there's kind of a family narrative too because my grandfather was a butcher based in Valdosta Georgia wow. so a lot of family a lot of friends going on and today we're gonna do one of my favorite family recipes which is a shish kebab Love okay it. so we are using uh, top sirloin so I live in Nashville Tennessee mm -hmm. my wife is always having me entertain and cook and entertaining is a lot of fun but it's super expensive yes. and so part of what this book is is to go to your local butcher create that friendship with the butcher mm -hmm. and so we're using top sirloin which okay. is typically about half the price okay. of what you're going to pick up is from like a fillet or strip so we got three techniques here we're going to start okay. first we've cut this into cubes it's a really lean meat um, and by cubing it we're creating more surface area and we're going to help you know kind of tenderize this okay. i'm going to let you throw in the onion got one it. of the keys here is we want to make sure that we're cutting everything similar sizes okay. the second part is that we're going to add a marinade so olive oil is going to go in okay. okay i love these flavors i'm always using a lot of vinegar so Oops. red wine vinegar. Oh, vinegar we've got worcestershire sauce over here My Favorite. sauce mm. and that um, helps to tenderize this is all going to do this and then we also have a nice blend here you can just kind of throw the whole thing in okay. but we've got uh, kosher salt we've got fresh cracked black pepper dried oregano we've got uh, crushed red pepper some thyme garlic plenty oh. of garlic all, all the good things. Things. So good. and then the two kind of coup de gras ingredients will be ground cinnamon and allspice all that goes in okay. you'll mix it around and then we want to let this marinate for about 30 minutes it's going to create some more tenderness so we, okay. we cut it we cube it we let it marinate you can do it up to over night and then okay. we're going to skewer these and you just want to have an even distribution you don't want to overcrowd your skewers. What do you have on there just onions and the just meat. onions and beef you could do peppers okay. if you want to okay. so again we don't want to overcrowd we want to grill not steam so we'll go ahead and throw grill, these on this is going to be on a grill pan if we were cooking inside we're going to look for like two to three minutes oh. per side the other trick is that we want to make sure that we cook this to the right temperature so about 130 degrees and we'll pull it off okay, okay. Two to three okay. minutes per side and then what's, what do you got here so you this is stick a thermometer in how do you yeah yeah you can touch it you can you know yeah. the, the old technique of uh, medium rare okay. to get a little tighter so we go from san francisco to the bronx here in new york to okay. the south of france and we're tracking down butchers there's plenty of meat there's <laughs> wild awesome. game yeah, there but there's seafood and vegetables too it's okay. a really well-rounded cookbook so corn ribs love. i love this we're Bill just going to cut this right was a couple we're, summers ago they're so good in south yeah. carolina i remember yeah. that so we've got it we're just going to season with a little extra virgin and olive oil the core in the middle we just got it like this okay. now what this does is it allows us to not have the cobs roll around Mm -hmm. on the grill we're just going to put these over direct heat okay we create some more surface area too because we're actually kind of opening up that ah, char i've got two lovely young girls vivian who's just turned eight on monday and oh, everly who will turn birthday. six they're here on june they're first they're over here Beautiful family. And so what's like, yes. great about this is, you know, we've all been to the cookout yeah. where the kid, you know, eats like a, a little piece like of the nothing. corn on the cob and they leave it. They this, is it. No this is a good utility. It's fun. It's a finger oh, food. Mm. And then I'm not bashful. I'm from Nashville. Mm. Little Southern <laughs> love here. We're going to add a little bit of mayonnaise mm. to kind of emulate a I little bit wondering. of a street corn. Mm. And then we will oh, just wow. hit it with a little bit of fresh grated Parmigiano mm. Reggiano. And then for that beauty, we've got well, some parsley great. right over the top. This is kind of a really fun. I'm telling you, Matt, you can just grill them. Yeah, for two to three minutes till you get a really nice char on each side and mm. like I said there's a lot of meat there's a lot of game there's seafood but we have one of the first vegetable butchers that was right here in oh. Italy and oh, the whole idea of the book is thing. yeah it's amazing. a real thing it's a real thing and we want people to kind of foster that relationship with your local butcher right mm. you're going to your market mm -hmm. it could be a supermarket it could be a lo local butcher shop they often know the best recipes. They know how to cook, and maybe you can have them over to your house as well with some of these. Mm. This is so good. I want to have you guys over to our house. I know. It's nice and tender. Yeah, it should wow. be, and it's just the technique of the top sirloin with the marinade, proper cooking, so and again, good. you're getting a lot That's of bang delicious. for your buck. Super flavorful, stretches the feet of crowd. Congratulations! Perfect. And I love that you did it so much. They deserve it. I appreciate it. it. Yeah. Congrats Thanks. on the book. Thank you. Thank for you. Thanks to your family for coming too. Thank you guys. <laughs> I know. Uh, so for these recipes, head to today.com/food, and don't forget Matt's new cookbook, Butcher on the Block. It is out. Now, I'll be right back. This I'm going to so eat a good. corn rib. Mm -hmm. This is like, I don't want to go back to the other way. <laughs> oh.